Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Niamh here with some more Tainted Grail Conquest. If you wanna avoid spoilers, you might wanna watch this playthrough from the start. There's a full playlist of everything I did in this game so far. Scroll down and find the Pathfinder class. Right. Anyway, if you wanna decide to stay, then welcome, welcome, sit back, relax and enjoy. We are uh, in the Act 2 right now. We are skipping the Shimmering Light because I did not do the quest yet. Although there's a group of enemies there, which we should probably do. We'll do it later. Right, so things are pretty good. We are we are running a pretty, pretty greedy uh, rune here, which is letting us uh, grab some extra weird candles and we got two last fights so that's pretty good so now we can enter this fight on ultra which might be necessary there's one healer here actually this might not be too crazy but i don't want to risk it too much so i'm gonna put a strong rune in here let's see if you've played five more cards in a turn gain 10 barrier uh we could take the one which deals one hit for seven damage to all enemies, actually. That's a nice tempo card while we are defending. Okay, gain 100% damage this turn for every inflicted stun, reduce armor. Okay, that all sounds good, though. Yeah, let's go. In this video, I'm not going to go over the passive and stuff. I did it last video, so... Okay, let's see. Okay, another corrupted giant. Yeah, it's nasty. So I want to get rid of this one fast, I guess. Uh, right, well, insight into double block is pretty good. Also, most enemies here can be stunned. That's pretty nice. So, insight into double block, good. I feel like doing stunning shout. And, well, I guess I could just block and do a strong turn next turn. We're gonna block all three of his attacks. We're gonna get some extra. Okay, we don't play this. I'm gonna play this at the end of the fight anyway, so... Well, okay, I want to kill this thing if I can, so let's see, inside, oh, I could last resort here. If not play next turn, gain 100% damage, okay. If I play inside into last resort, my own slots will be pretty good. Next round I can get an extra card, although why play, why play last resort when I already have to block? Yeah, that's a pretty good question. How much damage is this? Hmm. Well, the answer is because we're gonna do a lot of damage, right? We're gonna do a lot of damage. We could probably, if we play that, we could probably with two onslaughts get rid of this one and get this one really low. But then next round we only play with two energy, which is usually a bad idea. I mean, I could do something in between, just some insight and block. And let's see how much this hits for. Yeah. Just pass here. Do one hit, gain 100% damage next round. I probably don't need that. Okay, we have enough block. Yeah, maybe we just do this. And there we go. Okay. Good. Blood Frenzy, 48 to 108 to all enemies. No, that's spicy. That is very spicy. Mm, it's gonna kill this one, then I need only three block. Well, 48. I could draw some hearts. Get another energy going. It's a it's a weird point to do it. What am I hoping for? I'm hoping for the Stunning Shout. If I get Stunning Shout, I can stun them and play Blood Frenzy and just wipe the floor with them. Yeah, let's do it. Or this thing, actually. Yeah, that's also good. We play this for a massive lifesteal, which we don't need right now, but hey. Okay, and now we just need to block two attacks. Sounds legit. I could have maybe killed it, no. Yeah, well, I could have, I think. 32 to 72, no, it would be a toss over, okay. 
it will be a coin toss, I wanna say. But like we're done, so whatever. Okay, what do you do, dude? Three times. Ooh. Well, three times is more than two times. You cannot be stunned. How much is this? 66 to 148. No, that's awkward. That's my only... That's my only... Okay, let's just go for one more turn here. I mean, we're smacking it this way or the other way, so... There we go. Okay. One more turn. Eh, we have enough candles, so whatever. Okay, let's continue. Draw one card. Okay, well, I guess we could equip that, actually. Actually, we could equip that. So, items. There we go. Wonderful. Let's see. Countess. Hello there, Mrs. Your Countess. Your path grows increasingly inaccessible as the branches of weirdness crooked trees splay in all directions. Suddenly, you come upon a woman who, judging by what remains of her tattered clothes, must have been someone of importance at some point in her life. You can't focus on her garb, though, because as she turns, you realize that she's feasting on the rotting flesh of a dead monster. Blood and ichor drip from her open mouth. Well, that's a sight to behold, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, what do you think? Good or evil? Probably a very nice person, Who right? Who do we have here? A stranger? Hmm. It might be your lucky day, Wanderer. Oh, really? The woman giggles flirtatiously oh. and covers her jagged teeth with one hand. Give me your life's essence, and I will reward you with uh... my precious stones. Unfortunately, this specimen here is running low. Oh, here is a bouquet for you. Quest, only lovers left alive. Oh, we can give her health for a runestone. But then, do we skip the quest? Ah, uh, we already have a pretty good mythical runestone, right? But you could get another one. No, let's just do the quests always. You show her the bouquet you received from the florist. You can sense that she's overcome with joy and hope. Give it to me. Okay, this okay. This is the most magical gift I've ever received. Like it was made just for me. Who? Tell me who made such a wonderful bouquet. You tell her everything there is to tell about your meeting with the florist. She listens intently. What a surprise it is to find someone so gentle and pure survived in this world. Please let him know that I say yes. I want to meet him immediately. She has such a thick accent, same as the florist does. That's such a nice touch. No, not sure how else to like describe her accent, but if you... Uh, wanna hear how the florist sounds like and her you will notice this kind of thing like maybe not thickness but like like this clickety kind of sound like I, I can't really describe it but trust me when I say that she has like this voice thing same as the florist does anyway uh, what do we have here we got three enemies and one of them looks like a healer one of them looks like a healer so that's a good news let's see so one of them, so we got this thing, okay. But the healer looking fellow is this one. Spawns illusions of random enemies. I'm probably fine with that. Uh, are we gonna greet it out? Yes, we'll definitely greet it out. Three enemies, that's a, that's a reason for greet. Reduce armor, maybe I don't need this one now. Weapon slow again, plus 100% damage this turn. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's. Let's go just for pure damage here, so we don't have to mess around with stun. Where is my damage, though? Gar? Yeah, Gar. Let's go. Okay, cool. Uh, right. Let's try to get some more uh, candles. Right, so he's doing his thing, he's doing his thing. Right. Gain 50% damage this turn. If not played, gain 10 armor. Okay. So this thing attacks, it has only 75% HP though. What if I do insight into block? For how much does Onslaught hit? 23 to 42. A little bit short. 
but if I do that, it should be just enough. And then with one enemy dead, you probably don't need that, right? Well, famous last words. Well, problem is... We can just do this and this, though. We're gonna lose 5 HP here, but... Apparently, we get this 5 HP back right away. That's pretty cute, actually. I almost one-shot everything. If I played... If I use my ult and played that first, I will just kill everything. Dude, what a... Lost opportunity. He's like, hey, where's my friends? Disturbance! I feel disturbance in the force. Okay, 4 to 7. <laughs> what a humiliation, right? Oh, yeah, okay. It does calculate in the armor, right? For a moment there, I was like, will this even kill it? Uh, okay, we got the weird candle. Okay, we're gonna have so many weird candles. That rune is just bonkers. Uh... So we have more weird candles than we need, but we can use that rune to get as much talo as we can. Deal two hits to 50 for 50% 50 to all enemies. Okay, deal one hit for 50% damage damage. Uh, not really interested. Short pause. No, thank you. Just gonna skip. Oh, there we go. Level 10. Mastery, mastery. Whenever you use the ultimate ability with 12 charges, reduce the energy cost of all cards drawn by one. Jesus. Opportunity block. Whenever you use the ultimate ability with 9 or more charges, gain 3 block. Whenever you use the ultimate ability, draw 1 additional card for every 3 charges consumed. I don't need this, because I already have a very good uh, draw with plus 2 from another passive. This is pretty weak, actually. This is like 1, 2, 3, and 4, and I have plus 2 on my regular passive. I think we go with this one, right? Reduce the energy cost of all cards drawn by one. This will this will do some hilarious things. This will do some hilarious things. Okay. Blacksmith. Oh, hello, dude. I want to ask you for a certain woman and a certain child and a certain runestone. What am I doing here? Well, looking for resources, obviously. Here. Look what I found recently. So free rune. He hands nice. you a round object filled with light. The moment you touch it, it blends into your hand, and you feel a strange power rising inside you. Ooh. You got five armor. Dude, I wanted a runestone. Are you kidding me right now? And I couldn't even talk to him about the child and the quest. Oh, boy. Uh, so there's a milestone there. Uh, okay. I think we just grab it. If you lose because of this, then you know. Because I didn't take a bonus. Fountain of Health. Okay. This is not the same as All Mother's Blessing. And what the heck is going on here? Will we be able to go down there? I don't even know. Okay, another easy fight. Now I'm wondering should I do the Treasure Guardian first? So we can then heal up for the boss. Yeah, that's uh well we have the fountain, never mind. Yeah, we'll be totally fine here. Just continue wrecking face here, yeah, sure why not. Pretty strong class, this Pathfinder. Oh yeah, is that those things again? Well, at least they're not hitting for a lot. So how do we wanna play this? Well I definitely wanna do the double block here. But that's not enough. So I need another block, which is all right. And then Onslaught does what? Eh, it's not the best one ever, but hey. 33 to 60. It's gonna serve its purpose. Okay. Uh, two attacks only. Well, that's nice. What's this? All enemies... Stun all enemies for two turns. Okay. Interesting. I don't have that rune anymore, do I? Yeah, I'm not. I don't. Okay. Does that mean anything? Oh, well, kind of. But not really. <laughs> Funnily enough, that doesn't help that much. Because... Uh, 
because I want to play blocks anyway to raise my ult up. So maybe grab 40 bar instead is just way better. Okay, they attack twice, right? We have enough blockage and all. Yeah, let's grab the barrier, I guess. All those stunned enemies is good. Yeah, I can do another stun, reduce their armor. Yeah, whatever. I'll just grab the barrier here. Okay, now they're in their ethereal forms. Alright. Do that. Do that. Do that. And then make everything cost zero. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So let's play another block here. Let's do a target block. Doesn't really matter where. There we go. Uh, stun costs one. Okay. So I want to play two onslaughts probably. Oh, look at that damage though. That's insane. 145. Yeah, let's go here. There. So as soon as he switches the stance, we can kill it. And let's go there and let's go there and let's go there and I didn't even need to use that thing let's do stun because we get one charge back there we go yeah we don't need to heal or anything we just um, click and everything dies okay good that's something we can all enjoy I, I'm sure nobody knows what will happen after eating this one Okay, do we actually have... Yeah, we have the, the weird rune on. Okay, so let's visit the Fountain of Health after a little bit here. Okay, Candle Maker. Okay, this one seems manageable, although these things are kind of dangerous. There's three of them as, as well. And then there is a boss thing, which is like actually the same thing. Okay. Well... We're not gonna f run away from a good fight, are we? Meow! <laughs> right, so yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Attack random targets, targets, blah blah blah. Reduce enemy armor by 25% until end of combat. That sounds good to me. There we go. We're gonna play inside, we're gonna play block. No, I'm not sure if attack is a good call here. Four, five, six, like so many attacks. Like he might not hit me though. I think here we just, you know, just block up as much as we can and wait for the ultimate to get charged up. Okay, he actually didn't. Yeah, we got hit for a little bit here. Nothing super crazy. Now we can stunning shout everything. Yeah, I could have used ult to fish for the stunning shout, I guess. How much is this thing? It's pretty nice. But also it's inside and double block, right? Yeah, and then next round we can do our ult. Okay. So, inside a double block, and then we alt. There we go. Right, play another block here. Play a target block. So we get like some charges back immediately. Which is like pretty cool actually. Uh, can I heal? Lord of Flies. Wait, what? He attacked himself? I don't see one on myself, so... Uh, we're gonna play this thing. Probably Blood Frenzy here. One big swoop and let's go. Okay. <laughs> uh, things really do explode in this game. Out of proportion. Small blessing. Draw one card. It costs zero energy this turn. And that's interesting. Uh, protection from evil. Reduce damage dealt by all enemies by 30% for three turns. Okay. Hmm. Now that's nice. 
With that you can do some silly stuff. Because it's for the three turns, so you can play it more times than once. Uh, but like 30% is not really that great. If it was 50, I would be like, hell yeah. But like this, I don't know. Oh, I can. you can also insight it. Oh boy. Deal one hit for 75% damage. If the, if the enemy intends to attack, stun it. Crippling attack. Okay, that's really good also. It's a stun for one. But I like this, actually. I like it. I changed my mind. That's a really good card. Okay. Candle maker. Hello there, mate. Looking oh, for candles? Hello. It's good to see you. I'm looking for components that could make my candles better. No luck so far, though. Anything I can help you out with in the meantime? Well, yeah. Do you have any candles? Take a special passive skill. Take a weird candle. Uh, let's take a special passive skill, I guess. Double the duration of all weirdness repelling items. Oh, okay. That's... Is that useful? Does it double duration of candles also? I don't know. But anyway, there's no tree here. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to Legendary Encounter. This one might be harder, actually. How do we wanna do this? Do this one, then heal on the boss. It's a Headless Horseman, though. Ooh, Headless Horseman's nasty. He has these portals that spawn. And... And, yeah, it's a little bit problematic. I probably... Probably don't want to mess around with this thing here. Although I wonder if the things that are getting spawned from the portals actually count for weird candles, but... Let's not mess around here. If you played five or more cards in a turn, gain ten barrier. Okay. No. Stun a random enemy every four turns. Okay. Well, I could reduce armor for enemies by ten. I could move this one. No, no, no. What do we want here? If you played five or more cards in a turn, gain ten barrier. That's so little, though. Stun a random enemy every four turns. Increase max HP by thirty. I just don't have a very good thing for this one. It's armor by 10. I mean, armor by 10 is also pretty nice, I guess. First turn of combat is not gonna be that hard. In armor slot, every turn, increase everyone's armor by 5. Now, that's interesting. That's interesting. Is that useful for us? Not really, is it? We don't have really that easy way to reduce armor, though, so... I guess... I guess we just play the polished ink then. <laughs> uh, this is so silly. Yeah, I'm just not happy with any of the other things that... Yeah. Okay, so this thing, the boss of the Act 2, hello. Every few turns an enemy will try to spawn from this portal. Destroying this portal will remove all poison, heal everyone in combat, increase your damage, and reduce your armor. The string this portal will remove all poison, heal everyone in combat, increase your damage, and reduce your armor. That's good! And what do you do? This enemy can poison you with its axe. The poison grows stronger with each hit. It will also summon allies. Okay, reduce armor of all enemies by 50. If not, play draw 4 cards more. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm gonna be dodging for sure here, right? Well, although we could play that, but no. I think this is fine. Reduce the armor of the boss here. Start hitting him real hard.
Yeah, sure. So this is pretty nice and simple boss, which summons a lot of enemies. Uh, a normal attack with a debuff. Okay. Okay, we can play the Frenzy now. I could also, like, reduce some armor on the boss here. Enemies preparing its special attack. Okay, next round they do their thing, right? I mean... Just get to 12 and then do the pain, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. I could have double stunned it, I guess. Three times five to seven, okay. Okay, reduce damage for all enemies by 30%. I don't think we need that. Okay, they're doing their thing, though. So... Let's do... Inside... Block. Then we're gonna play this thing. There we go. Gonna play double block. Gonna play another block here. Good. 72 to 132. Where's my card? Oh, Jesus. Okay. I'm mean, gonna play that, right? I mean, why not? There. And we gain some damage, right? And lose some armor. And now these are just, you know, resetting. We have enough block and everything. Okay, everything looks good. Uh, I mean, let's reduce his damage because why not? Okay, cool. Okay, 23 to 27. Okay, inside block. I don't need healing. This, did this count like enemies killed? Should we like delay the fight, try to grind out some candles? I don't think that's like, I don't think that's like worth my time to be honest. Like, let's just destroy this boss and uh, let's keep going. Okay, if not played next turn, okay, I think this one hit is just bad, straight up better. Okay, play inside. Oh. Oh, we have lots of things to block now, though. I mean, I don't have to, but then I lose my bonus, right? I could play this and the last resort, I guess. I really want to play this, though. But then we are, like, defenseless. I could play this and last resort. This, draw cards, play last resort. But then what do we do next round? Yeah, that's a little bit, you know, cheesy, cheesy. You know what? I'm just going to play this on him. In there. Yeah, I'm just gonna block it here. That's okay. That's alright. He might do a weaker attack, so yeah, okay. Uh, so this will summon enemies, that's okay. We're gonna do that, we're gonna do a double block, and that's gonna be it. So these are the enemies. Oh, we got the blood frenzy, nice. Uh, 106 to 297 to all the enemies. And now these are healing, what do these do? Nothing, they just attack all the enemies. Right, so we play inside, we play block. Good, then we click our ability. There we go. I mean, I'm gonna play Blood Frenzy, let's be realistic here. Boss still has a lot of HP. Not sure if this is like so worth it right now. We're just gonna keep it just in case we mess up and get wounded. There we go. Uh, right. I think we might have enough though. Yeah, I think we messed it up. 95. Maybe, yeah, if we use that, we would have a kill, I think. But like, <laughs> who can do this kind of math though, right? That's kind of intense, isn't it? 
can we use this one? No, we can't. Okay. Oh well. Next round. Maybe there was still hope? Nah. Okay. I mean, my damage is going up every round, so whatever. Yeah, I think we got it now. So we play this thing, we play that thing, and then Onslaught. Yeah. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, goodbye boss. GG, easy peasy. I I trouble I had troubles with this one with the summoner because <laughs> of the random enemies. My 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 summons did not attack the correct things. Oh, we actually gained three weird candles. Yeah, we could have farmed the candles here. I should have. Maybe I don't know. Uh, this feels like an echo of something that happened before. Like then. You're left with the sensation of a strange power growing within you. I mean, <laughs> take the Wirsten heart. Then we would need to grab all these candles, then we would need to run around in circles to get the tallow from them. I really didn't feel like it. Okay, I guess we do this one now. Should be easy enough, right? Famous last words. Um... Deal one hit for seven. No, increase damage by four. Reduce their armor. Yeah, okay. These are tricky, though. These are tricky. These do not choke around. They have a lot of HP and they do a lot of hits. Mm, this is really good, though. Reduce armor of enemies by a whole bunch. So, basically, with the stunning shout, we'll be able to do some really nice things here. Although, I don't really need it. Yeah, there's no point, is it? Well, this one's buffing, so maybe we stop the buff with it. Yeah, kind of. Twenty to twenty-two. I mean, either that or work towards our ult. I think working towards our ult is better than this little damage here. Funnily enough. Okay, can we block everything? That's gonna be like a big question here. We can. Do we want to block though? Well, we can block with this. How much is this right now? We can increase it. Ah, uh, it's not gonna get near enough though. It's a lot of damage. I mean, they're not doing anything. We are progressing here. Well, we are losing our double block from the last round, though. That's okay. Do that. Yeah, let's pop this thing. That's a lot of damage. I should have used the deadly thing. That was a bad call. That was a bad call. Uh, right. Okay, four attacks. For attacks, we're gonna get swing swung here. So yeah, we're gonna lose the bonus. So inside block. Oh, this is like so bad. I mean, I can use this, but do I want to? I probably don't. But then we get reset. I'm not super happy about resetting this thing here. But then what are we drawing into? I don't want this to be reset, so let's just click it. Even though it's not where I want it to be. There we go. I I, I was hoping we get those two. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I didn't want to jinx it though. Okay. Okay. Game gave me another chance at redemption, basically. You found what was protected by when yep. you filled your pocket. Three ephemeral chests, you can only get one. Got it. Uh, ten armor, unlock a new weapon slot for runestones. A big pile of weird shards. I'm gonna unlock a new weapon slot for runestones. Weird shards, we have lots of. Right now, um, I can always grab more if I. Like, right now, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of unlockables for these weird stones. That's the thing. And it seems like we're getting a lot of them. So I'm not sure. Not sure what's up with that. But maybe I'm wrong. Although I don't really feel like we need another weapon slot for runestones either. You know what? I'm... No. 
we are doing a real boss. When we do a real boss, we don't collect meta currency, right? Yeah, we're doing a proper boss, so a hard boss. So let's grab the the rune stone slot. Uh, right. So now we can add another weapon, rune stone. There we go. And we will, of course, go and do that last couple of packs. Wait. Oh, Jesus. Rundown windmill. I didn't even notice this one. We are still not invited, right? But uh, let's do this fight last. One tallow. Oh. So many weird candles, though. Oh, my gosh. That's insane. Uh, okay, okay, okay. A host of evil. Three enemies, so probably not afraid of them. <laughs> well, ever since we reached level 10, things became a little bit easier on us. Also, having like maximum light all the time also helps. Uh, right, reduce the armor of all enemies. Well, don't mind if I do. Uh, inside. Well, I could pop this thing. So then Onslaught would hit for a lot. But this is probably enough. How much? 33 to 66. What is this thing? This enemy power changes depending on your weird candle burn level. Okay. Do I do this? I can also stun everyone, dude. Okay. The game's like, pick how do you want to do this? Oh, right. For every stunt enemy, we get a whole bunch of damage as well. Forgot about that teensy weensy detail here. I mean, yeah, let's do it. Well, that wasn't that great. But it's okay. Well, you're all alone. What do you have to say for yourself? He has like, I'm gonna swing hard many times. And that's actually a little bit of a problem. <laughs> 86 to 158. Oh, that's all right. Sacrifice 5% of your max HP, light a weird candle. Okay. Weird candle, weird candles all around. Double strike, deal to hit, cleave. No, thank you. Deep breath. Gain one block. Next turn, draw additional card and... <laughs> Gain one block. Next turn, draw additional card with its cost reduced by one. This is just broken card. Steel Eater. Reduce enemy's armor by 100% of your damage. 100% damage until the end of the combat. Yeah, but we're gonna take Deep breath here. Like, It's like one of my favorite cards. Delayed Punishment. Whenever you play four more cards in a turn, your first hit in the next turn deals 400% damage. Whenever you play four or more cards in a turn, your first hit in the next turn deals... Increase your armor by 25. If you finish your turn with at least three cards in hand, gain one block. Natural block. If you finish your turn with at least three cards in your hand, gain one block. Uh, I mean, that's really nice. Whenever you play four more cards in a turn, your first hit in the next turn deals 400% damage. That's so much extra damage. I'm just gonna play the Pathfinder here, but this is clearly the right option, the late punishment. I mean, I'm gonna play the Pathfinder here, yeah. Okay, let's go Shimmering Light. There's an old saying, all that glitters is cold. We are getting beacons by the Even lights still, and we follow it deeper and deeper into the forest. Deeper into the woods, you can pause and read. We read this two times already, panic. so every time we follow it, we the lose two HP. Slow and so eventually, eventually we find see the, the thing, but it costs a lot of HP. It's a little bit random also. You might not find it right away, as like as you can see. I'm getting really unlucky here. Dude, like, the game's like trolling me right now. What's that old saying about curiosity and cat? Last time it didn't take so many times. Dude, maybe, maybe because I didn't do the quest. 
could it be? Yeah, it seems like maybe because I didn't do the quest, I'm just getting lost here. I already lost a lot of HP, so I'm gonna leave here. I don't think... Like... Like, I clicked so many times, right? It might be, it might be. If I did the quest, I would maybe push a little bit more, but... Oh, let's also visit the rune carrier, I guess. Hello that was again, super weird. Yeah, hello again, stranger. Uh, let's see what we're gonna pick up here. I want to, like, do as much rune combining, so we're gonna buy all the cheap runes for sure here. And then these two... Start combat with plus 25, start the combat with plus 50% bonus damage, every turn lose 5%. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Uh, gain plus 100% damage this turn for every inflicted stun. Okay, that's also interesting. I don't think we'll be using this ones or merging them, so let's just save up the cash. If there was like a reasonable chance for me to get another r rare rune, I would probably buy them. But like this, let's just save up the cash for something else. And... Well, I'm gonna go to the Fountain of Health. We could probably go back to that thing, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay, early explorers found the supernatural string streams. Drink for the holy... Drink the holy water. Immediately. There we go. Take a risk and drink As some the water. Heal you. There we go. Nice. So you can get an encounter here if you take a risk. I don't know if I would be pushing that thing so much if I didn't have a fountain here, but well, you never know. Okay, let's do this thing. Just for experience. Oh, it's this thing. Hello. Tainted corpses. After it's killed, its creature will come back as another different enemy. So basically, I just want to unslot this thing. Okay, that's good. Okay. But yeah, we can probably kill this turn. Right. Um. Okay, this one's free. That's nice. So I can play this, this, and I actually have enough for the blood friends. Is this good enough? What's the point of that, though? I don't know. We need to kill this one here. There we go. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, nice. Insight into deep breath. Well, don't mind if I do. Now do we play this thing? Sure, why not? We're gonna get some nice attacks, which we can use deadly lost on. Yeah. There we go. Uh, we could play this, I guess. I mean, what am I worried about here next round? Not much. Yeah, let's play that so the onslaught now hits for like a gazillion. Okay. And now we need to deal with this thing. So what card do we have? Will, will he steal that card? When killed, this enemy will steal one of your cards. However, it will just disappear if there are no allies on the battlefield. Oof. So how does that work? Will it steal this card? I want to find out. If I lose the best card in my deck, will I still be alright? I will. Like, I could lose Deep Breath, that just puts me one step back. And everything else is weaker than Deep Breath, right? I really want to know. I really want to know what happens if I kill this thing. Okay, now what? When killed, this enemy will steal one of your cards. However, it will just disappear if there are no allies on the battlefield. 
Well, anyway, it seems like whatever that was, it's like done now, I guess. Oh, wait. He intends to steal a card. But it's dead, isn't it? This is so weird. Draw two cards more. I don't even know what to think right now. Okay. Protection from evil. When killed, this enemy will steal one of your cards. However, it will just appear in your eyes on battlefield. Yeah, I don't quite understand what's going on. Okay, uh, inside, the red, double tank, stun. Like, let's try again. Yeah, it doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like much smart is happening there. Okay. Uh, right. Oh yeah, we have enough for this thing. Let's do it. That. Whoops, I didn't want to play that. I did not want to play that, but I guess it's alright. Okay. Talking Skull, okay. Good. Reposition, discard your hand, draw four cards. Uh, I mean, I like this card a lot. Off offer all energy and deal one hit for 0% damage. Damage increased by 175 for each point of energy consumed. Okay. I like it. Raging Blade. Discard your hand and deal zero hits for 0%. Wait, what? One hit for each card is card. No, that's interesting. I don't want to clog up my deck, but this is a really powerful card. And this one's good if you didn't draw what you need, right? But... At this point, what are the chances we don't draw what we need, right? Yeah, I think I think this class just has so much card draw that... Still, if on first turn I don't have enough blocks and stuff, I can play this. But it's clunky with, with uh, insight, right? It's very clunky, very, very clunky with insight. Yeah, I'm gonna skip on it, funnily enough. <laughs> <laughs> Run down windmill, yeah, Apologies. we enter, I can't let you in, yeah, I know, I tried, right, so we bought the stuff from Rune Carrier, yeah, we did everything here, let's move out, and let's go back to the village, I guess, act two, done, and complete, um, well, we did some quests, look at our candles, though, nine, Christ, okay, well, let's do the NPCs and then we're gonna wrap it up. Ah. Candle maker. Good talk. Bind proof weird candles. Oh, we can upgrade them to last longer. <laughs> but maybe we increase the initial weird candles, post weird candles, buy a special card. Special card is really nice though. We might buy it for the boss. Uh, not care too much about these. Okay, nothing, I guess, today. Okay, you. You're back. Yes, I'm training 40 times per day. Deck management. Okay, 98. Well, it's gonna take a while. Draw more cards every turn. 500. Yep. I mean, that's really powerful, but we're not there <laughs> quite yet. The blacksmith. Okay, talk. I need your help with a certain boy who mm, ate a runestone. The blacksmith spits out his drink. <laughs> he clearly doesn't believe a word you're saying. Oh, dude. That. Yes. <laughs> that was a good joke. Thank you. So what can I help you with today? No, I'm serious, Wait. dude. You're serious? Oh, my. Then let's go. There's no time to waste. Lead the way. We must find this boy before it's too late. New objective, new status, blacksmith follower. 
Oh, hello. So he's with us now. Wait, what? Oh, crap. No. This is so bad. Dude, I want to buy runestones first. So I guess until we do the boy thing, we don't have the blacksmith anymore. Oh, snap. That's not good. Like... But dude, we are here in the village. You're right there. Come on, craft me some rune stones. Oh my, that's... Oh. Well, I hope it's worth it. I hope it's worth it. Healing and upgrades. Uh, so yeah, this is what we use weird stones for. We can like increase the number of heals a little bit, but we almost never use this in the first place because I either die or play well enough to like always be full on heal. Oh, we can upgrade for 1000 weird stones, but it's like just not worth it. Okay, scientist, talk, buy consumables, what do you have? Same thing, yeah, I'm fine, thank you very much. We might restock for the final boss, I don't know, we'll see. We still have to find one NPC. What can I do? Talk nothing, upgrade your abilities, 122, okay, now we can buy something good. Increase your wealth gain by 10%. Yeah, I think that's good. And then after that, probably damage. Also, damage is really good also. That's like half a starting rune. I'm gonna grab this damage by one. Because I'm playing without runes from Blacksmith now, it seems like. So, this can wait. Although, yeah, so for the next run, I'm gonna grab this. Abilities, upgrades, get a random passive skill, buy. Oh, but get a random passive skill, unlock. Oh, we can buy passive skills for... Well, that's interesting, but... I'm gonna... Yeah, increase the damage because of the whole... Blacksmith thing. Second one is 200 blood, okay. It's not too bad, though. It's not too bad. Okay, candle uh. maker. Right, no, we're fine here. Okay, uh, right. So now we need to do the third boss, and then we're gonna do the crumble manier here. Cool. Right, so yeah, see you in the next video. Uh, if you enjoyed this one, uh, drop a like, and maybe check out some of my other stuff. And um, yeah, if you find it worthwhile, maybe subscribe. That would be amazing. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to each other. Let's make the world a better place. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. The Nirmer signing out. Bye-bye.